On this episode of Strength Coach Tutorials, we're going to continue on with our athlete profile graphs and I'm going to show you how to create a one-click profile selector. So as you can see, what we had down here on the left-hand side was the ability to select up to eight metrics. And then on this video, I'm going to show you how to click one box and it's going to automatically select different profiles that you're going to be able to customize to your needs. This is going to be really powerful if you're maintaining lots of different teams or athletes in the single spreadsheet so that you can automatically select between different profiles that you want to display depending on the team or athlete that you're looking at. So let's get after it. Okay, so we're back and we are continuing on from Strength Coach Tutorials number 73, I believe, in which we finished off with a chart or a table or a dashboard that looks like this. And as a reminder of how far we got in that video, we were able to select any athlete we wanted and all of the charts would be completely dynamic. As well as down here, we have a profile graph selector and I can select any metric that I want and all of my charts will automatically update to add that metric. Or if I delete some of these, it will take them all out giving me completely dynamic charts that I can expand and contract kind of however much I want. And this is a really powerful trick because it allows us to make these dashboards and they will grow to match all of the data that we want to put inside of them. Um, as a quick explanation of how some of this is done, here we have a drop down menu that selects data from a big data table that we have where we're, where we're converting the data to z-scores and t-scores. And a z-score is just a measure of how far it is away from the mean. And a t-score is just converting a z-score to a value out of 100. And that makes these graphs all kind of sit on the same scale and it just makes them look really good. And then from this data, when we select it, I just have some data being pulled over here. And based on what's being selected, we pull all that data out over into the profile graph. And then I filter it back out into just the necessary data. And we've got name ranges on top of these that actually pull that into our graph. And because they're named ranges, they will um, expand and contract as we add more or less data. So now you're all caught up, and if you want to see how we got to this point, go back and watch Strength Coach Tutorials number 72 and 73, and I take you all the way through those steps. So let's get going on tonight's topic. And what I want to be able to do is if I am testing lots of different teams or different sports or different types of athletes, maybe even position, I want to be able to have a one-click select and automatically select the test that I want to display on my graphs. Maybe I don't want to display a full testing, maybe I only want to display one or two tests, or maybe I do want to display a full testing. So I want to make this part um, drop down selectable and then able to select any one of the tests. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to add another graph here to make it look more like the one we had in the intro video. So the way to do that, well, how I'm gonna do it right now, is because I want everything to kind of stay the same look, I'm gonna actually take this radar chart and I'm gonna control C, copy it, and then I'm gonna paste it. And a little trick for when you're working with graphs, as I'm resizing this graph, if I hold down the Alt button, it's gonna automatically snap to the grid here and I can automatically make it kind of the size that I want. And so what I've done is I've just kind of put it on the side here and I'm gonna take all of these other graphs and resize them just so that everything sort of matches here. And now you'll see that kind of our dashboard all sits together. And now that I've kind of copied this graph, because I copied it, it's gonna all refer to the same values and I'm just gonna right click here and go to um, change chart type and I'm going to select a bar graph and a horizontal bar graph and hit OK. Maybe I'll just make this a little bit bigger. Well, it's going to go a lot bigger. So let me just add a few more cells. So I'm going to insert cells and maybe I'll just add a couple more. So that looks pretty good to me. Let's just maybe stretch this out a little bit. 
make it kind of take up the whole space. And now that looks a lot more like what we had in our intro video. And if I were to add some more graphs, because it's all formatted the same way, you can see that it's going to automatically um, update the way that kind of everything else does. Okay, so, oh, so this particular graph wasn't showing anything and that's just because I didn't have an athlete selected. Okay, so now we're back and all of our graphs seem to work. So then the only last piece that we have to do is actually create our profiles. So how I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna go over to where my data is and just kind of scroll over a little bit and I'm gonna create a table. So um, I'm gonna call it profile name and then metric one. And then I'm just gonna drag this over till it gets to metric eight because that's how many that we possibly have to select from. And I'm going to just expand these a little bit. And now I'm going to kind of select all of these and format as table. And my table has headers and okay. Let's rename this. So we're gonna call this TBL underscore profile. And from here, now we have to add some data validation. So what I wanna do is actually have these cells so that I can select any of the cells from our testing data. So what I mean is I wanna be able to select any of the different types of tests that we might run on our athletes. So I'm gonna use a data validation here and I'm going to go to data, data validation, and we're gonna add a drop down list. I'll go to list and I'll go equals indirect. Um, I just gotta remember what that table's called. So it's called TBL data. So I'm gonna copy that because that's gonna be important. So I'll go back to my video or my um, data or profile table. And I'm, again, I'm gonna go data, data validation list equals indirect and then quotation marks, table data, square brackets, hashtag headers, square brackets, quotation marks, close the whole thing off. So basically what I'm telling this is I wanna reference table data and the headers, which we've done with the hashtag headers, hit okay. And now we should be able to select any one of the actual um, headers from that table. So I'm gonna drag this across because I want that to be active in all of the cells. And because this is formatted as a table, it is going to automatically move down um, when we add new rows. So let's create a profile here. Let's say strength profile. And maybe for metric one, we wanna look at the T bench press. Metric two, maybe we wanna look at the T squat. And metric three, maybe we wanna look at the T deadlift. And then let's put in our power profile. And maybe metric one, we wanna look at T squat. Maybe we wanna look at T deadlift, um, T vert, um, T broad jump and T sprint. And then maybe our speed profile. And maybe for this one, we wanna look at T bench press, T squat and T sprint. And then let's put in say rugby profile. And for this one, we wanna look at all of the categories. So let's say T bench press, T squat, T deadlift, T vert, T broad, and T sprint. Okay, so there are four different profiles that we have created. Now what we wanna do is actually reference that in our um, table, okay? So how we're gonna do that is we're going to take this header and if I was to go equals TBL underscore profile, open that up and type in profile name and close that off, you can see that it references all of those values. So let's take this now and I'm going to make a drop down list in our profile graph over here. So on the red, on the yellow column here, what I'm gonna select is data, data validation. I'm gonna go to list equals indirect, quotation mark, paste that in, quotation mark, close it off. 
and hit OK. And now we should be able to select any of those profiles. So now from here, we only have one more step to kind of make this whole thing selectable. We have to reference this. And I'm gonna show you how to do it in two different ways. The first way is gonna be with an index match. And this will work whether you have Excel 365 or Excel for Mac or whatever. So we're gonna use the formula index match. So I'm gonna type equals index. Open that up. It's gonna ask you where I wanna look. And I wanna look in TBL underscore profile. And then it's gonna ask me what row number do I want? Well, I wanna match. So match, open that up. And what do I wanna match? I wanna look up the profile that we want because we know that the profile is stored in a row. And then where do I wanna find it? TBL underscore um, profile. And it is stored in the profile name column. And then what kind of match do I want? I want an exact match, so I'll select zero. And then it's gonna ask me what column I want to reference. Well, we know that the first column has all of our profile names, so then the second column will have our metric one. And I'll put a two in there and close that off. And you can see our strength profile. And as I change my profile, that first one is going to change. So now all we have to do is take this and copy it. And I could paste it here Paste it here, paste it here, all the way down. And all I would have to do is change the actual column number. So I'd go to three, four, five, six, seven, oh, I got an error there. Oh, that's because it's gonna give me a blank value. Seven, yeah, okay, so let's do the data, the data validation here. I still have an old data validation over here, so I'm gonna remove that quickly. So I'm gonna to go to data validation and any value and hit okay. So let's pick this back up again, six, seven, eight, and nine. So there you go. So now as we select different profiles, it's going to automatically select those exercises and we can automatically pull out whatever profile that we want. The only other thing I would do to clean this up is what you'll notice is when it doesn't have anything, it's actually um, showing a zero value. So how, what I have to do is just wrap this in an if function. So I would go if that whole thing equals um, zero, then I want to show nothing else. I want to show that whole formula. And then I'll close this whole thing off. So if I was to pick a profile that didn't have anything in the first column, and I'll hit, I'll just delete the one from the strength profile, you can see now it's just gonna show a blank value. Okay, so all I did there was just wrap that in an if formula, and I just said if the index formula equals zero, then just show nothing, which is signified by two um, quotations, and then if it shows something, then I wanna index the whole thing. Okay, so that's just a quick way to create your dashboard. And a couple things we could do to clean this up if I were to select all of these graphs, right click on it and hit format chart area. Over here, I can take the line off of it and I'm gonna do that for all of them. So now what you'll notice is they all sit kind of flat. Um, maybe on my blue columns here, which are representative of the actual scores that the athlete is scoring. Maybe I want to um, click onto my blue columns, go to chart design, quick layout, sorry, add chart element, and maybe I want to add a data element in the, or a data label in the center. So I'll select there, and then I can select these 
and I'm going to give them a solid fill of white. Maybe I just want to make the actual text a little bit bigger so I can select them and then take the text, make it a little bit bigger, maybe bold it. So it gives me my scores there. So as I select different profiles, you can see the scores are going to update. Or if I were to select different athletes, you can see the graphs are going to change. And because how we've set this up, it's all dynamic. And then maybe the last thing that I want to do to make this truly look like a dashboard is I'll go to view and I can turn off headings, grid lines, and formula bars. And I could even sort of shrink that part. And now what you'll see is we basically just have a full screen dashboard with some selectable items on the side. And we could print this or send this to a coach or whatever we wanted to do. So that is how you set up a quick and easy dashboard with um, profile selectors. And you could use this any way you want to set up different profiles for your teams, your athletes, or kind of however you want. So I hope this trick helps you out. And if it did, please like and subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification. And that's going to let you know when I have new videos coming out. And if you have any ideas for future videos, just hit me up in on social media at DSM Strengths, or you can comment down below and I will try to create some videos to answer your questions. I'm always looking to try to create new videos to actually help coaches with things that they are struggling with. So that will be the end of this video and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.